Okay, folks, hold on to your seats. The next thing I'm going to say is going to be a little scary, but we're going to get through it together, okay? Mercury will be retrograde. Oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you very, very much. So Mercury retrograde can be really scary, okay? It gets a bad rap. It happens two to three times a year. Every planet retrogrades. But Mercury is one of the closest planets to Earth, and so we feel it more. Mercury is the planet of communication, local travel, uh, technology. It really rules every way we connect and communicate in our immediate environment. Um, and so all of that really breaks down because when it goes retrograde, things go inward. And stuff that takes that active approach, things that we really need to go, 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 those things... It's just a constant feeling of waiting, waiting, waiting. So you're just going to feel like you're constantly on pause. That's how it feels. And not just on pause, but maybe possibly like wanting to pull your hair out. Maybe your phone falls in the toilet. Maybe your computer breaks down. Or maybe like there's this weird technology breakdown that doesn't make sense. Like you have full service on your Wi-Fi, but nothing's working. Everything's going slow. The good, the good of Mercury Retrograde is that we should do yoga, we should meditate, we should see old friends, reminisce about good times, uh, write a song, write a book. Uh, writing is a big theme, especially journaling during Mercury Retrograde because it's a really good time to go backwards, go inwards, reflect. The best way to describe Mercury Retrograde is just put the letters RE in front of everything. Regroup, reprocess, reroute, you're going to see a lot of that. I always see a lot of that in the pre-Mercury retrograde and the post and also the retrograde. Just constant like, you know, orange cones with the sign, go this way and the cops, cop car, you know, like we're doing construction all over the place. So that's what you're going to see a lot of. Um, again, not a good time to sign major contracts and make major decisions and buy electronics. Um, obviously, if you have to, you have to. Uh, one Mercury retrograde, someone stole my phone in the subway train in New York City. I was just like in the subway train and someone took it from my bag. I didn't even know. And then I like left and I was like, oh my God, my phone, you know, it was gone. And I called my mother and I was like, my phone was stolen. I need, well, I didn't call her on the phone. I probably used a paper or something, but I called her and I was like, my phone is stolen. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's Mercury retrograde. I can't buy a phone, but... I needed a phone. So guess what I did? I went to Verizon. It was the worst, longest process ever because it was Mercury retrograde. I finally got a new phone and Mercury went direct. All was well. And then like a month later, my phone died and broke and I had to get another new one. So, you know, I did it. I bought electronics during that time because I had to, but it broke. So just to note that the post-Mercury retrograde can be a little fuzzy too. So we're going direct, but we're still kind of fuzzy, we're ready for action. We are ready to approach what we embraced and learned during the retrograde period. When I get home, rush to see if she called or even left a message for me in a flash.